Oz Dusselet here coming to you from my dining room in Las Vegas, Nevada. I moved about six weeks ago and I'm still getting settled in. This move has been rough, but I'm glad to be here. Uh, so many good things are happening, but starting life all over again, that is, it's been intense. Bottom line though is that I am still here. Lots going on around Excel and data, uh, so much happening. And this video is based on something that Bill Jelen, Mr. Excel, whooped on us recently. He had a challenge that I'm familiar with. He was describing how um, when his father, who's a military veteran like I am, would call up the VA, they always want to know your last initial and the last four of your social security number. That information should be enough for the person on the other side of the phone or on the other side of the desk to pull up your information. That would be easy if we weren't dealing with sensitive information. If we just had a big old table of data and we had to say, okay, in this example, we've got Bass Ames, Ames being the last name, put in A, the last four to social security number, 5018, and pull up the full name and the advisor. I've, I've modified this. So we know Carmelita is the advisor of Bass Ames. But this issue of masking partial strings, you know, you don't want to have a whole social security number showing or a whole credit card number. I've modified the challenge such that we've got IDs. We only want to pull the last four of the IDs that I made up and people are calling in to find out who their advisor is. Let me change this. Put in B, okay, and we got an unknown right there, and then 1101, Fred Bauer, and Fred's advisor is Carmelita. Let's go C and 4423, enter. Oh, these three people. So now we have to ask the person on the phone, okay, are you Brenda Carson? No, 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 no. We're not going to say that. We, we're going to ask them. So what's your full name? Oh, Tanya Corbin. Your advisor is Spencer. So let me walk you through how I've done this and thought about it. Starting here, we have a filter function that's filtering what? It's filtering this table. And notice it has the last four only and okay, we got Elvis Carr who has, that number would be 0511 and the advisor is Eva. So there's all of the data. So let's do that before we move on. Let's do C and 0511. How does this work? I'm gonna go to data, queries and connections and import it. Right. We have from a source folder, okay, we navigate to the source folder. I'm not gonna do all of these details. There's the change type step, rename columns, and then reordered columns. So I am pulling in only the data that I need to do my job. Not enough data for me to be nosy or pernicious. Close this. What's happening? Close here. Oh, look at this. Here is another workbook. Double click it. Okay, look at this. We've got the name, the entire code the advisor, the age, and the zodiac sign. This could be anything. Okay, whether they've been paying their child support or not, whether they're mean people, anything could be here, but we don't need that. 
for our purpose. So what's happening here? I've got left. Okay, coming from the sensitive table, pulling the first initial of the last name. Right. Let's go over here. And this table is called sensitive. Then I've got the right four of the private code. The advisor and the full name. Then over here, H stack, a horizontal stack so that this is one data set. So go over here. This is the data set from the previous sheet. All right. From M2. Right. That's what that is. And then that other sheet is pulling this sheet only. So it is not so easy to get back and find out uh, how old is Margot? Um, Clyde Richardson, how old is Clyde and what is Clyde's zodiac sign? Ella Stone, we only have what we need to know to pull up Ella Stone and tell Ella who her advisor is, which is Lionel. So we've got our main list of data and then splitting out exactly what we need, H stack, put it all in one place <clears throat> in preparation of pulling it into another workbook so that there's separation between the sensitive non need to know and the basic need to know. So now there is one thing that I do want to show you. Let's look at this. I'm going to go down here. This is the workbook that you only open if you have a damn good reason. Let me add some more data. I've added new data. Now what's important in order for this to work, we have to save and close the book, but I'm going to sort before I do that data. And then I'm going to sort by the last name and then save again and then close because I was getting errors when I tried to refresh with the workbook open. Go ahead and refresh. Now we've got our new people. There is Cynthia Archer. And if we put in A0805, there we have it. Cynthia Archer, the advisor, is Lionel. So I had no plans of going through all of this to give you all of the details because I wanted to show you more of the process and the thinking behind the process. There's basic stuff going on here. You got HDAC, filter, that's basically it. And then some Power Query to import and then push the stuff out to a workbook. You can go over to Bill's video and you'll see that some people were putting up formulas, wild formulas, impressive formulas. I'm thinking process. Depends on the direction you want to go with this while respecting people's sensitive data, right? Thanks, Bill Jellin, for this challenge. And thank you for being here, Oz, from Excel on Fire from my living room in Las Vegas, Nevada. See you in the next video.